Opera of Kansas City working on Bellini's The Capulets and the Montagues, which is basically the same story as Shakespeare's Romeo and Juliet, taken from the same source, but a totally different take on it. So unlike the Shakespeare or the Gounod opera Romeo and Juliet that some of you might know, the Bellini take is much more political. It's about the the rivalry between these two families and the machinery of war that has been going on for generations between Romeo and Juliet's uh, respective families. So we thought it'd be really interesting to take a more contemporary approach to the production. Unfortunately, you turn on CNN or the news right now or open the papers and we're knee deep in all sorts of wars and about to potentially enter new ones. And the opera really is about this, uh, this conflict of war and how this beautiful love story, this beautiful love tries to endure and survive against this machinery of war. It's a really interesting setting, I think, to try to explore how how regular people are affected by war. People still fall in love and have weddings and funerals and babies and break up and normal things happen in everyone's lives, even in a state of war. So we're really interested in that juxtaposition between the machinery of war and this beautiful love story between Romeo and Juliet. <laughs> have an absolute A-level first-rate cast, led by, of course, the, the hometown girl, Joyce DiDonato, who has become really one of the most famous singers in the world, and we're so lucky to be able to have her here in Kansas City doing this production. I mean, it's a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to get to see her. The role of Romeo is actually played by Joyce DiDonato, dressed as a man. And I think that audiences will be really surprised at how quickly they forget that it's a woman playing that role. Her acting, her posture, the way that she's singing the role. It's, a, it's an interesting operatic convention and uh, I think it works really quite well. Our job as artists, I think, to get people to think about the state of the world right now and to use music and art to reflect on our culture today. So we're hoping that's what audiences will take away from our production. 